G'day guys, Donnie here, Pascal Labs Prospecting and GPT Gold, Claremont, Queensland. We're just down in the cut that I'm almost finished, I've been on this cut for a few days now. Pulled some good gold out of here, about an ounce, uh, just over an ounce. So, it's not a big cut, it's only sort of oh, 30 metres by 30 metres. And I'll just tidy this one up and move on. But um, I just want to show you, this is what makes it hard with detectors, guys, out in the GPAs. If you can have a look there, from that um, black line that you can see running through there, it's all topsoil above. And then when you come down, that's where your gravels and your schist and all that, your, your schist is just decomposed bedrock. And that's where it's laying. So you've got to punch through, you know, you're punching through two to three hundred mil of topsoil there to get down into that area there. And then you've got your clays below that. And I'm finding found a bit of gold in the in the clay layer. Um and then once you go down, like if you see in the pit here, there's your clay layer there, and you come up your gravels, and then there's an old timer's bloody pile of dirt here on top. I pulled a quarter gram out of that hole there. But I had a reef in here, I had a reef system, which I thought was a reef system. I pulled quite a lot of uh, prickly gold out of this area, just in this area here. The rest down that way was all flood gold, all water-worn. Um, and that, that, that's what's under the clay. You get into that slate rock. But I haven't done any good in the floor. I haven't detected anything off the floor, so... Uh, a lot of iron, there's a bit of ionisation here, we've got, um, I pulled, did pull a specky, a piece of gold on, a, on an ironstone conglomerate. So yeah, some good, good dirty, but uh, yeah, this, this quartz reef, it's not actually, it wasn't actually a quartz reef. It was actually a great big lump of um, quartz that's come from up here somewhere. Tens of thousands of years ago, obviously, and landed down in here, and then been, you know, buried with, sunk down into the mud, and buried with overburden. So I've pulled it all out, and it was it was quite a big chunk of quartz. But yeah, it's not a reef, guys. It's just a bloody, just a lone piece of quartz that's been moved. But, uh, we're going to do some testing today. I'm going to take some of this uh, bottom floor stuff off. And take it down to the sluice. Take some schisty stuff out of there. Take it down to the sluice and some of that um, stuff closer to the top soil, uh, to the top, down and throw it through the sluice. So hopefully we'll be able to fill up some pay dirt bags very shortly and start getting some pay dirt bags out to you guys. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you the cut. This is this is. Our second cut on the uh, lease. Um, yeah, you can see what's going on here. I've only got that left side to go and that side there to go and a little bit of this pile I'll pull out and dig that gravel back in there and this pit's done. Um, yeah, she's pretty well down to the slaty bedrock, as you can see. Well, it's not bedrock, it's slate, but... I can't find any gold down there, so I'm not going to waste my time chasing something that may not even be there. Wasting diesel and fuel. Diesel. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd give you a look at what was going on, guys. Cheers. Over and out. GPT Gold, Pascalo's Prospecting, Golden Prospecting Tours. Get on. It's www.goldenprospectingtours.com.au. See you, guys. Bye.